Hello traders, FS Pip Collector here. Today is Thursday, November 16th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So in the dollar cat, I mean, this is definitely five ways up right there. There's no arguing that, but I still think it is possibly like a motive wave correction for the way B because this move is very impulsive compared to the move up. I think this is an A. I think it's a motive wave correction for the way B, and I think eventually it's going to make its way down for a wave C to complete an ABC pattern. So taking it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I'm not really convinced this one is turning yet. A lot of the dollar pairs look like they've already turned, but some of them, like the US dollar CAD, kind of looks like it could possibly go up again, and that this could actually be like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of wave 5. So we definitely need to keep that in mind, going down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we got impulsive down. This is either an A or a 1. This is corrective up, either a B or a 2. Now, if this is a correction, then this move down would be a wave C. And if it is a wave C, then it will probably bounce off a of fib level, break structure, and continue the uptrend, proving that it's a wave C. If it's a wave 3, then it might still bounce off fib levels, but instead of breaking structure, it will continue to make lower lows, lower highs, and it will tell us that it really is a wave 3. And that's how we will tell the difference between a wave C and a wave 3. Going down to the 4 hour time frame is where I got my Fibonacci retracement on this last push down. I don't really think this downtrend is over even if it is a wave C. I think there's a good chance it's going to go down again. Now if it goes down to that Fib level and makes a break of structure like I was showing on the daily then I would say that's the end of a wave C. On the other hand if it goes down and makes a bounce but doesn't break structure and just keeps on making low lower highs, lower highs, that's how you're going to know it's a wave 3. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, one hour time frame, either scenario, I think that we do have more downside potential. To me, this does kind of look like an A. It looks like three waves down for a B. Kind of looks like we could be in a wave C. So if I see three waves up, if I see it a nice impulsive and golfing move down, then I would definitely take that as a sorting opportunity for the continuation of the downtrend. Like I said, definitely pay attention to the four hour and daily time frame to see if you can find evidence, whether it's a wave three or whether it's a wave C by using the techniques that I just explained on the four hour and the daily time frame. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.